Welcome to Robotics for Beginners. My name is Saransh Vodo. This is class 2 of Robotics for Beginners. Now, in this class, we'll learn about microprocessors and microcontrollers. Now, what exactly is a microprocessor and what exactly is a microcontroller? Now, they both almost look similar. Okay. Now, in microcontrollers, it is not necessary that these pins may be outside. This can also be like this also. In this, the pins that these kind of pins are actually behind it. So it can be similar, even a microcontroller can look like this also. Not necessarily that it, the pins are outside. So they both look similar. So one cannot actually differentiate just by looking at it. Okay. So we'll see first what is a microprocessor and then we'll see what is a microcontroller. Now in microprocessor, it actually only has a CPU. So what is a CPU? Central Processing Unit. It contains only the ALU, Arithmetic Logic Unit and some registers. Now these registers are like your variables that we use to store data. Okay. Now the CPU is on chip. Now what do you mean by on chip? Over here, this is called a chip. Similarly, this is also called as a chip. Now on chip means it is inside the chip. It is present inside the chip. Okay. So in microprocessor, the CPU is on chip. Now compared to a microcontroller, it is expensive. Okay. For example for a microprocessor, Pentium 1, 2, 3, 4, Intel Core 2 Duo, these all are called processors. Okay. So, because of, uh, like they are very high-end processors. Now, these processors cost around more than 30,000. So, if as a college student, if I want to work on something, let's say I want to develop a device. Let's say I want to develop a washing machine. So, if I use a processor, the processor itself will cost 30,000 rupees. So, it is not feasible to use a microprocessor. Okay. So even as a consumer, I won't like to spend 30,000 for just washing my clothes. That also, that, that is a minimum cost just for the processor. So including everything, the motor and all, it may go up to 60, 70,000. Then on the microprocessor, the RAM and ROM have to be connected externally. That is not present on chip. Now RAM and ROM like in your computers, the computer, uh, has a RAM memory, right? The two slots that in the computer, I hope everyone knows that. In the motherboard, there are two slots. You have to put a RAM memory inside there. Now, what is a ROM memory? Your hard disk. Your hard disk actually is a ROM memory. So you can see, right? They both are external. They, are, they both are not present on chip. Okay? Everything has to be connected to it. Now, let's say what else comes in everything? The IO port. Now, what is a IO port? Input output port. Now in the microprocessors, the pins are just open. So you don't know what port it is. So to, dis so to uh, <clears throat> decipher what port it is, we use IO ports. Okay. Now microprocessor actually only processes the data. Okay. It cannot control your device. It only processes the data. Okay. So and a microprocessor can handle many processes like a computer can. Okay. So this is about microprocessor. I hope you all have got a rough idea what a microprocessor is. Now let's see what is a microcontroller. A microcontroller actually does not only have a CPU. Okay. On chip. Now on chip it has many things. It also has a RAM. It also has a ROM and some inbuilt features. For example, some inbuilt features, ADC, analog to digital converters. Okay. Now, analog to digital converter is actually a hardware present on chip. So that is inside the microcontroller itself. Now let's say one more thing, let, uh, one more feature of a microcontroller, let's say serial communication. Now, serial communication is used to communicate between two microcontrollers. So even that is present on chip. Okay. Now, compared to microprocessor, it is very less expensive. Like it may, it may start from few uh, like hundred of rupees and go to thousands of rupees. So it is very very cheap compared to a microprocessor. 
controller can handle only one task at a time it actually controls your whole device let's say a washing machine is a device it will control the whole washing machine we'll see in the example in the coming example now in microprocessor you can see over here the memory and the cpu is in the microcontroller sorry in the microcontroller the cpu and the memory and io ports are on chip whereas in a microprocessor the cpu is only the only present on chip whereas memory and io ports are off chip you have to connect them externally to the micro processor now where is microcontroller used every day and yeah sorry where do we see it every day and where do we use it every day we actually don't see it okay but yeah we use it every day probably let's see some of the examples applications of microcontroller mu c stands for u c stands for mu c mu micro c controller now in supermarkets right in supermarkets we have some cash registers like these now using these buttons we give the input to a microcontroller the microcontroller might be present somewhere inside over here okay so that microcontroller will process the data okay and then control it and give it and give the data to the lcd and also print the bill okay so all this work is done by who the microcontroller then let's say a weighing machine okay a weighing machine you keep some let's say a few grams of potato on it it will tell you how many grams it is depending upon how much of potato you put on it okay so even in this the microcontroller will decipher what kind of weight on uh, what how much is the weight of the particular item that you kept over here okay so these things are controlled by microcontrollers these are just few examples there are many of these and at homes now at homes we all of us have seen a oven now this oven actually just heats the food right so a microcontroller is dedicated to do only one thing it will only heat the food it will not wash the food right <laughs> yeah so it only heats the food even this whole thing is controlled by a microcontroller let's say a washing machine over here even in this it is being controlled by a microcontroller somewhere inside you give the data what kind of clothes they are how many minutes you want to wash it put some detergent and it will wash the clothes and give it back then i hope everyone knows what is our digital alarm clock so i won't be elaborating on that much even this is being controlled by a micro controller then at office like yeah even these things inside they have a micro controller the elevators we use it almost every day even these things are controlled by micro controllers so basically micro controller is actually embedded and it is like the brain of the system okay so it controls your whole device okay it is actually embedded into these devices so these are just some of the examples that i have chosen to show it to you all yeah that's it for today in the next class we'll see classification of a microcontroller okay Thank you. Bye-bye.